Hey guys, what's up? It's a Toba Loco, and we're back for the quest for the World Cup. So let's randomize that continent. Got Caribbean, and I got the Turk and Caicos Islands, or Caicos, whatever you, however you say. It. Fun fact about this little team: this tiny little island was established back in 2008, and probably are one of the worst teams in on the planet. So I'm gonna have fun. So my first opponent was against Uruguay. And I was just thinking to myself, how the fuck am I going to get out of this group stage? Especially when Luis Suarez scores and trips over my goalkeeper in like the 12th minute. <laughs> Tripped over my goalkeeper. What a bell end. But this guy was really annoying. Because look, he's doing skills and just being cocky on the ball against an island nation who are 208th in the world. But thankfully, karma was on my side as the referee gives me a penalty for absolutely nothing in the box. If you look back at that, absolutely nothing happened. But anyway, can Gavin Glinton slot this one in? Of course he can. Of course he can. Coolly finished by the Island Nation, -er man. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know how to say the actual name. It's like Turk and Caicos or... I don't know. I just don't care. Anyway, look at that ball. And look at that goal. Look at that goal. Are you kidding me right now? This little island team are 2-1 up against Uruguay. Put your hands up for this tiny nation as we're going to do our oh, fuck off. Seriously? That goal came straight after the kickoff, by the way. He just ran past all my slow defenders and tapped it in. So it was 2-2 at half time. And I've got to say, there are some really rubbish players on this team. But anyway, a couple of fuck ups just on the defensive line means I go 3-2 up, 3-2 up with one of the worst teams on the planet. Don't celebrate that goal. Don't celebrate it. <laughs> anyway, I was running down and I was thinking to myself, oh, this could be a decent game. I'll go defensive. No, nope, Cavani heads in. To be fair, I actually liked that header. I appreciated it. That was a 90th minute goal. Through ball and yeah. Can you just... The referee didn't give this island nation a break. Cut down uh, Luis Suarez or Cavani. I can't, couldn't really see back there. I think it was either one of the two. Keeper gets booked. And of course, Cavani puts away the penalty to make it 4-3 to break the hearts of this, this humble nation. This nation that had come so far to get into the World Cup. But anyway, our second opponent is Argentina. I was just thinking to myself, what the fuck? Now, this game was a bit of a strange game, really, because for some reason, my players were really, really defensive. Look at this. Like, the amount of tackles I did, and he was getting close, and just the passing was on point with this team. Like, seriously, it was so good. I had a couple of moments, of course, Forbes going through. I should have scored there. I should have tapped it in to make it 1-0. But anyway, look, he tries to Mercury for Guerrero and just shuts him down. Like, you can't do anything about this. And how the fuck was that not a penalty? How was that not a penalty? When a guy goes down in the box, that should be a penalty. But anyway, look at that. I hit the post round that player somehow and somehow score from that tight angle to make it 1-0 to this island nation. B Forbes with the goal, 1-0 against Argentina. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Seriously, 1-0 with one of the worst nations in the game against one of the best nations in the game. I don't understand how people can play like this. Like with bad, with really good, um teams how could you play like garbage it's it makes no sense look look at that pass it almost got to Messi, but i shot out like you would have thought you'd be destroying me right now but yeah the turkey Caicos islands really did me proud in this one again i should have scored but through ball ridiculous pass and slots it in for 2-0 against Argentina. If this happened in real life, people would be like, what the fuck? This would be like when Tahiti scored against Spain. And it's Viru's corner here towards the far post area. Oh, they've got the goal! Jonathan Teo with a moment of Tahitian delirium! Anyway, 
I was just going round. Look at the passing. Look at it. It's just so good. Chip through ball. Here we go. Throw on goal. Ah, oh, see? And this guy here showing off a little bit of the bill pay with an unnecessary bit of skill that puts him through on goal. And I won 2 0 against Argentina. Can we get, like, can we write down the history books, please? I could go through. I could win this with one of the worst island nations ever. Well, one of the worst nations ever in football. It's not them. It's just their newly established nation. So the third match was against, of course, it was against Germany. And I was kind of feeling a little bit hopeful from the last game. I beat Argentina. What's going to stop me from beating Germany? Well... Okay. Well, in the end, the fucker beat me 4-0. Yes. I didn't want to show too much. I didn't really get any chances in this game. But yeah, if you really like that video, then please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I did quite well, considering I won a match, and that was the goal in this one. So well done, Turkey Kos Islands. Well done. You did, you did well. You did well. But not quite good enough. Maybe in a couple of years' time. Right. Thanks for watching. Cheers.